Hello, welcome back to uh, DGD. Uh, this is lesson number three. Uh, as you can see so far, we have got our player moving, can't go through the walls, got our boxes so that we can push them, and we can also not push two boxes when they're together. Okay, so what we're going to do now <coughs> is basically when uh, we push that box into a crate, we're going to swap it for our sort of sharing notes, but it's a bit in place and we're going to fix it there so it can't be moved anymore. Okay, we're then going to do a score uh, and also check to see if everything's in place so we can finish the level. Right, okay, so um, to start with then, we are going to go to the palette object. Okay, and we are going to detect using the collision if it hits a box. So if a box has been placed in there, then we're going to sort of initialize this sort of thing. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to destroy an instance. Okay, so at the moment we've got a box and we've got a palette. Okay, so destroy instance, right, so that's what we're going to do, uh, and the instance we're going to destroy will be the actual box, okay, so we're going to destroy that box, which will be the other, okay, because self is us, the other is going to be the box, so we're going to destroy the other item, okay, and now we've destroyed that, we're going to change an instance okay so change instance and this time we're going to swap our palette with a wall okay so we'll, we'll go for self with a wall okay now the reason we're going to do this is just to save a little bit of coding because we've already set up the fact that you can't go through a wall, you can't push a box through a wall. So if we do this and add a wall there, then you can't basically go through it. So we'll just actually check just to see what that looks like. Let's see what happens. So if we push this into there. You can see that it's swapped into a wall, okay, and it can no longer be pushed, okay, so that's good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an instance, because obviously we don't want it to look like a wall, so we need to create an instance. There we go. And what we're going to create here is we're going to create our box, okay, this is going to show that we've done it. We're going to put this in the relative position because we want the X and Y to be relative to the actual item, okay? And the layer we want to put this on will be one above the wall, okay? So let's just have a look at our layers. If we go to our rooms earlier on, we set up our layers so you can see the player should be on that layer, our boxes and walls should be on that layer and our palette is on the bottom layer okay so really we want to put it on this layer the walls the layer wall and boxes okay if we just go back now to our palette and in here so why it says instances it's going to be layer wall and boxes. Okay, hopefully that should do that. Now the good thing is with using layers is this new item oops, let's turn, no, turn that off. The good thing about using layers is this new sort of item should be above the wall so even though there's a wall there 
you were. Oh. I made a typing mistake there, so I'll go back to my. Okay, for some reason I uh, I'm put an I instead of an L in there, so it should be a layer. Uh, so if we just play that now, that should now work. Great, so there we go. So in a sense we've just completed the level, so we need to sort of say now how we've completed the level. Or we need to check how to complete the level. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a bit of a scoring system. So what I need to do is I'm going to create an object. Okay, and I'm going to call this MPJ score. And we're not going to have a sprite in this at all because it's just there to, to hold the score. Okay, uh, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to set a create instance first of all and we're just going to create a couple of variables uh, these are basically going to be used to store our information okay so we've got variable one this is going to be our score and we'll simply call this the score okay and the value is going to be zero we're then going to create another one and we're going to call this one number of boxes okay so basically we've got the, the score which is going to be the number of boxes we've put in the right place uh, and the number of boxes are the number of boxes we need to get into place uh, so there's a really simple way of finding out how many boxes we've got on the screen and that is a get instant count this one here okay and that re retains the value of the active items okay so the item we're going to use will be the boxes and the variable we're going to store that in is the one we've just created which is the number of boxes okay so at the moment you won't actually see anything if we played the game because that's all going on in the background so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to draw our score okay so to do this we're going to do a draw draw and we're simply going to be draw value which is this one okay the first caption will be score The value for this is going to be the score. Okay, and I'm just going to set this to 50 to 50. Okay, we're not going to use relative because we don't we don't need to use that for this particular item. We're just using the coordinates of the screen. So 50 by 50 will be. We'll see where that is. It's on the screen. Okay. So we'll do the same again, and this time this is going to be for the number of boxes. So number okay, and the value of that will be number of boxes. 
and the position we will go for the same X position so it's the line and we'll go 75 for the um, Y position okay so let's just see what that, that does Okay, as you can see, there's nothing on the screen there. Okay, so um, I forgot the most simplest of things, which is basically adding the object to the room. Uh, it's a very common mistake when you're using these sorts of objects. So I'm just going to drag that onto the level. Um, and that now should show the score. Okay, cool. So you can see there now we've got the score which is zero because we've got no boxes in place. And it's actually totaled up the number of boxes that we've got, which is two. So now if we move these around, okay, the score isn't changing because we've not actually told it to do anything at the moment. Uh, so that's the next step. Um, so the way we're going to do that. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is basically we're going to add one to the score when uh, the player puts the box in the right place. So that particular place is going to be um, on the palette itself. Okay, so that particular place is going to be on the palette itself. Okay, so at the moment, like we said before, there we go, that's working, but it's not adding on. So what we want to do is on the object palette, and we just want to add one to the score. So simply choose a variable, assign a variable. Now, um, what you've got to remember is that even though we created the variable using this assigned variable earlier, once it's created, you can just use the same thing. So this is just going to change it now. Okay. Um, and we want to actually use our object score for this, because that's where the variable is. Okay, so we're going to click on that one. As you can see, that's now purple, which shows that it's doing something outside of this particular item. And the variable is the score okay now a simple mistake is to basically say plus one rather than just adding one okay so you just put one on there it's going to add one to that particular score all right so if we just give that one a go now let's see what happens So you can see there the score now is 1, that one hasn't added up, that's because that needs to be relative, let's play that again, there we go, 1, 2, brilliant, okay, so now we've done all of that, all we need to do now is check whether or not the score is 2 and then end the level uh, and then we've got the, pretty much the core mechanics for our game so uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to go back to the score object and when we actually draw the score this is where we're going to do our check okay so we could actually Add an end step to this. So at the end of the step, you're just going to check if that, that variable is correct. Okay, so so let's just have a look what we're going to use. We'll probably use the 
Let me try an F. Okay, so if your score so if the score equals the number of boxes then we're going to end the level okay so it's only green I'm sorry Okay, well what we'll do at the moment, because we've got no more levels at the moment, we'll just restart this room, just to test it, to see if that actually works. Okay, so there's one box, there's two boxes, and the room is now restarted. So that's basically all the core mechanics down. Okay. Um, so if you wanted to actually get this working now, what we could do is we could just create another room quickly. So I'm just going to go to rooms. Um, you can do this two ways. You can just create a room this way, which will default the size to uh, you know, the default setting, what you've set it to. In fact, we can change that in the settings. Uh, Maybe not. Okay, so we'll just create a new room. Now, as you can see, that's gone out to 1024 by 768, so we'll just change that to 640 by 640, which is giving us our 20 by 20 grid. Uh, and I'm just going to put a player on here just to, um, just to show you it's working. Okay. We'll go back to our score and instead of restarting room, I'm just going to delete that one. We are going to go to room. In fact, it's even easier if we go to next room because then that will work every time for every room basically. Okay, so let's just test that. Alright, so scores one, boxes two, and there we go. We've gone to our next room. It's just got a player on there at the moment. Okay, right, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, next lesson, we're just going to look at adding sounds, changing fonts, basically making the, the game look a lot more polished, um, and also thinking about making more levels. Um, we'll also look at title screens and uh, congratulations screens every time you do a level. Uh, and that's it for today, so thank you very much.